in front of that symbol there 1 2 3 and 4 The early Pythagoreans saw riddles and harmonies everywhere and that this way this is a way of seeing the world around us. A deeply aesthetic, as charged with an aura of meaning, harmonies, riddles and numbers all have written structures. So this, this is the way they looked at the world. Just go through this text. Means this was the concept of early Pythagoreans. So they saw riddles and harmonies everywhere. And that was a way of seeing the world for them. Deeply aesthetics, charged with an aura of meaning. Uh, harmonies, rhythms and numbers all have some hidden structures. So there is a structure for everything that is hidden. And it was they, they considered it their duty to bring out those hidden principles behind everything. I will introduce you some of their other concepts. There is something called tetractis. Tetractis. Tetra. Tetractis is a triangular form in which they have 10 points arranged in rows. That form was very important for them. Uh, this, this, this symbol was very important for them. So they had their oath taking and all such things in front of that symbol. A, a triangle. So they had a religious significance for it. Because in front of that symbol, they, 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 their prayers, their oath taking, when they enrolled into that group, uh, those kind of things might have happened in front of them. Uh, their oath is like, means they have an oath. I will read that. No, by him who handed down to our company the tetractis, the form which holds the roots of every Freud nature. It is something that is a, a part of their oath. Uh, I will show you the structure of tetractis now. Uh, the tetractis is a numerical structure made up of proportions and shaped in the form of a triangle. So it is made up of 1, 2, 3 and 4. We already discussed those numbers, what it represents. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. The sum of it is 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. And it is made in a triangular form. So they believed that 10 is the perfect number. And they also considered that this is the basic, this is the basis of the aesthetic ordering of the nature and of the processes of natural changes. So all the aesthetic ordering in nature and the process of processes of natural change, all because of this tetractis, according to of the Pythagoreans. And, and they also believed that their soul is also composed of a tetrad. Tetrad. It has something to do with the soul of human being. For its intelligence, understanding, opinion, sense, from which things come every art and science. So tetractis is the source of everything, from which everything comes. So we also become reasoning beings because our soul is also composed of this tetractis. So I, I will show you that form. This is tetractis. It's an equilateral triangular figure consisting of 10 points arranged in 4 rows. 4 rows of 1, 2, 3 and 4. It was a both mathematical idea and a metaphysical symbol for the Pythagoreans. And they believed the all the order, harmony, everything in the world is because of this, this principle. And they also believed the human soul is also made of tetrad. Uh, that's why we ourselves become reasoning beings. And the tetractus, Pythagoras is credited with the concept of what is called tetractus. Then represented graphically resembles the exact geometry of one side of the Egyptian pyramid. And the first of the uh, point, it represents unity, monad. And the second is a dyad, which represents power or limit, unlimited, that kind of and third is harmony, triad. And the fourth is cosmos, tetrad. All these together is called tetractis. So four rows add up to ten, which was unity of a higher order, which is called tetrad. This tetractis also symbolizes four elements of earth. One represents a point, two represents the second line, then there is two points it represents a dimension. So it is one dimension. A third row represents two dimensions and the fourth row when we have four points it is uh, tetrahedron tetrahedron it becomes a solid so that's how they, they uh, represent
आपका मिलेगा